Hi, this is Jake from Optimus Futures. And in this video, I'll be showing you how to configure market profile, otherwise known as TPO charts, and number bars, or as we call them, cluster charts on Optimus Flow. So first off, you are gonna to wanna to open up the platform, of course. And then from there, we're gonna be covering a couple different locations within Optimus Flow. Uh, the first location we'll cover is the TPO section. Now you can either access this in the top left hand corner by clicking on the TPO button. This should be favorited by default. If you don't see it here, all you need to do is click on the Optimus Flow logo in the very top left hand corner, come to the analytics section and click on TPO. Now, if it's not favorited and you want to make it easier for yourself, you can go ahead and hover over the star in the top right hand corner of this little button here. As you can see, and we'll do it for um, an example for option analytics. If you click on that star there, it'll add it as a favorite here. So just an ease of access tool that, you know, makes your life easier. Either way, here's TPO charts. Now this is going to open up its own dedicated section. When we get to cluster chart charts that can actually be done on, you know, just our regular version of the charts, but everything related to TPO is going to be specific to the section here. So when it comes to TPO, you do have quite a few customization options, of course. Everything can be done with either a right click on your mouse, which will open up this context menu or in the top left hand corner. So if you want to change the symbol, first of all, as you can see where I'm hovering over right now, ES rhythmic, I can come in here, find my exchange if um, you know, whatever I want, open it up, find the exact contract. Here we have the ESHO double click on that and it will open up our graph from moving on there. Um, I think the next most important feature here is style style is pretty much going to be where all your aesthetic customization comes into place. So of course we can adjust by display type. You can either do boxes or letters, depending on what you prefer. There's a couple different coloring modes you can choose from right now. We have it on heat map. Um, you can adjust based off of volume profile. You can do up and down bars. There's a ton of different customization options here. So feel free to go through and adjust based off of what you find pleasing or whatever helps you in your trading strategy. There's POC type, so you can change this to none. If you like, there's a final POC as well as migrating POC again, all comes down to personal preference. Now from here we have plot symbol. This is essentially going to give you the price action on your graph in the background. So it does overlay your TPO chart there. Um, now with this, it's not necessary. Of course, you can change the type of graph so you can make it a candle bar graph line really just depends on what you like. Some traders may not want the, you know, actual price graph over their TPO charts at all. If you don't like that, you can just pretty much click on disable or that little checkbox there and it will get rid of it. Now you can see we only have the TPO graph. You also have show the value area, which right now it's enabled. So that's going to just be highlighting the valuable areas. If you disable that, it'll pretty much just make everything visible. Um, it still is visible, of course, when it's enabled, but as you can see, it kind of dulls it out and becomes a bit gray. So it's not as um, visible to you and you can really focus on those value areas. Same thing with show singles, pretty much going to be very similar. Um, if you enable or disable, let's zoom out so we can get a bigger view here. As you can see, it just shows those single value areas with a white dashed lines. If we zoom in, as you can see the single value areas. And then finally, we have initial balance that you can enable or disable. That's just going to highlight um, these initial balance areas. So feel free to mess around with that as needed. Now on to aggregation. This is going to be how your TPO chart is built. Right now it is built off of a 30 minute chart. Now this is more pertaining to the actual plot symbol there, the actual price graph. So that's what it's going to be based around. So of course you can adjust this as needed. Um, you do have to find the right parameters to make it applicable. Um, not all the parameters will work here. As you can see, if you have incorrect parameters, you need to build it. Um, it should be a multiple of the profile. So, as you can see, 30 minutes is working right now. We may need to adjust based off of whatever we prefer and find um, a multiple of that chart. 
Now with the profile aggregation, this is going to be more so for the actual TPO stuff. So right now it's off of a day. You can change that to a minute. Um, if you want to, again, you'll have to adjust as needed to find the correct parameters. Um, you can change it to day as well. And then if you go ahead and apply, should take a couple seconds, but there we go. It's now loaded onto a day TPO chart. Now, as far as history range, as by default, it is on 10 days, but as you can see, you there are several time frames here going from one hour all the way up to 50 years so again choose what you need and adjust as needed once you're done go ahead and click apply and it will reconfigure your chart obviously there's not much history range on the one hour and our tpo charts a bit uh blank there but just showing you the different options just as an example we can go back and click on 10 days here click apply and there we have it back to normal now, if the, you do need a specific um, step in ticks, you can go ahead and enable that and it's gonna be adjusted right here. You can either manually click on these up or down arrows or you can type in and adjust that way. If you don't need it, feel free to ignore and you can just disable it. Now here in volume analysis, again, all personal preference here, you can go ahead and enable that if you like and you get the volume levels as well. You can adjust the actual um, volume analysis. So right now, of course, it is based off of volume. You could do it based off of trades. Um, you can just do it off of buy trades, sell trades. Again, we had volume before. You could just do buy volume. There's a ton of different stuff here to sort through. And again, it all comes down to personal preference. Everybody's gonna have their own methodology or strategy. So feel free to utilize what's available here. You can show the value areas as we did with the TPO charts, or you can show POC once again. If you're not a fan of this, simply click on disable. Now, I would like to show you down on the bottom left, we are technically working with the custom profile right now since we've built this ourselves, but there are a couple different other profiles that you can use. There's step profile, and again, this is down in the bottom left-hand corner right now. You can see my mouse hovering over it. You can go ahead and enable step profile if you like zoom out a bit so we can see that better um again you can change it based off of the hour um or sorry off the period the data type again value areas poc is um available you have left profiles there's right profiles you can adjust there's time statistics you can add see here at the bottom and you can zoom into that as needed There's a histogram as well we can enable. You can do custom VWAP. You can adjust your own VWAP here. And then you can enable those all and they become each their own, you know, separate indicator here. We're zooming in on the VWAP here. It does take a bit of a time to get built. And of course, my chart is probably getting a bit overloaded now with, you know, it's getting a bit uh, clustered up there. Uh, no pun intended, but um, just showing you all the different availability options on the platform there's a ton of different customization here that you can play around with and then finally you have time and sales that you can add on the right hand side here you can select the bar and um, you can adjust and pretty much display your time and sales history by clicking on a specific bar um, you can get out of this um, just by clicking time and sales again in the bottom so besides all the profiles that we covered on the bottom if you right click and go into your settings here you can adjust a few other things such as again display style which has been made available to you at the top you have view you can change um you know custom session time so if you need real-time hours only or the overnight session you can enable this um, and adjust as needed and there's so many other customization options in here in here you really just need to get a hand on it and go ahead in here and see what's available and you know really just find what you need and enjoying customization wise now as far as number bars or cluster charts these are going to be available on a regular version of our chart so i'm going to close out tpo now because we've covered most of the features there now when it comes to your regular chart um, to enable clusters or number bars all you need to do and as we've covered before in these profiles at the bottom most of which are available on the regular version of a chart you can actually click on clusters down in the bottom left here and go ahead and enable those 
So there's going to be two data types and we can't see it right now because we're a bit zoomed out, but let's go ahead and zoom in and see what our number bars look like. The data may take a second to populate, so please keep that in mind there. Um, we're just going to have to let that load in the meantime, but you can actually adjust your data types in a couple different ways. For one, you can do by volume. And as you can see, there's a ton. So you can do by buy or sell, you can do by volume or buy volume, sell volume. It really depends. Again, it's all personal preference. Everybody's going to have their own personal preference here. Um, so let's go ahead and let's remove the ATR so we can get a better view here of our number bars. And there we go. We're zoomed in. So you can see right now, the left hand side data type one is going to be off of volume while data type two is going to be based off of trades. Again, completely customizable. You can adjust the coloring. Um, again, coloring by Delta, coloring by histogram. It really just depends on how you'd like to customize it. Um, for cluster settings or you know number bar settings, you can go ahead and click on the little cog wheel in that profile there. You can adjust everything as needed here as well. So that's really going to be it for um, you know opening up and configuring TPO charts, marker profile, and cluster charts. Um, if you do have any questions, please post them in the comment section below. We'd love to hear your feedback on the platform. If you'd like to try a demo, send us an email to support at optimistfutures.com or leave a comment down in the comment section below and we'll provide that over to you. As of the time of this video was created, we are currently in beta stage. It should be going out live soon. Keep, please keep in mind, if anything you see here has changed, in the time that we've created it, it's likely due to, you know, a quality of life update. So things may not be the same if you're looking at this in a later date. So just keep that in mind. Any other questions, please post them in the comment section below. And as always, thanks for watching.